I'm going in not biased. I feel like everybody thinks that I listen to Tom and like I automatically just am gonna hate it. That's not true at all. I, I liked his last track and even though I said I liked his last track, there were still people that were like in, they were like, uh, you still had negative things to say. That's because I'm criticizing. Told you it's a heavy song, preeminent, that's fine. If we get some kind of like, if we get some kind of substance, that's what I want. I don't want the uh, political baiting, you know? I want an actual track that's listenable. And I got that with Don't Look Down. And then hopefully we have that with withdrawals. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to hate over here. Come on, Ernest, you're just a hater. Don't tell the truth. Don't hate the truth. Truthfully, if the song sucks, you're going to hear it. All right, let's get into it. The doctor said to talk to him if I wanted to get off my meds. I tried to call like all my friends. None of them are answering. See, this is already fucking better than uh, than any track that I didn't like from Tom before. It, like this is this is what I want. I want some realness. I want some stripped down vulnerability. I obviously anytime somebody is like, at least this is this is my this is my understanding about the psychology behind why people troll and are bullies. It's normally they because they have some type of like deep down insecurity that they hide by masking it under all these levels of I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say what I want, all of that. And that's and that's what I meant by like and when I say that he's pandering, it's because I'm like, I don't even know if he believes the things that he says. He's just saying the things that he knows or people are going to click on and people are going to have a strong people are going to have a strong opinion on and this is why i laugh whenever people whenever people like leave negative comments on my tom videos or they're calling me a snowflake or whatever first off they don't know me second off i have an ar-15 right there in my fucking shot i don't know why people think that i'm some kind of liberal snowflake and then third off i'm like you're so blinded by your own personal beliefs that you think that anybody that has a different opinion outside of that, you think that their beliefs, like I'm talking shit directly about you. I'm not. You're so like fucking your identity is revolves around your political beliefs so much that anytime someone disagrees with you, you think that they hate you. And it's true. I do hate you if that's your fucking opinion, if that's the way you live life. I don't give a fuck about no politics. So, yeah, obviously I want to see this. This is way more artistic. This is this is way more. This is probably going to get less views than, than his other videos. That's just how it goes. Is this the moment where I can't control it? Got no appetite. I guess the party's over. I've been throwing up. It looked like motor oil, but I chose uh. to quit and now I can't avoid it. The it ain't vodka soda. What is almost killing me is being sober. Oh, uh, you see what I'm saying here? This is what I wanted to hear the whole time. The thing that's actually killing me is trying to be sober. Quite literally, because his body is dependent on alcohol and dependent on drugs. He's just talking about all the withdrawals and his friends not being there for him whenever he needed uh whenever he needed someone to fucking whenever he needed someone to like tell his story to or cry on, you know, whatever. I can't be mad at this. This is this is vulnerable. This is what I want to hear right here. Can you like can you believe what he's saying? Is what is my is my thing. And I believe what he's saying right here a thousand times more compared to anything, anything that I've heard him say on the political tracks. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was high with all my friends. Mm. The hook is definitely better than other hooks. It could just be because I believe, I believe the emotion that he's putting. You know what I'm saying? The difficulty that it is to give up drugs because normally when you give up drugs and alcohol you got to give up all the people that you that that were in your circle when you were doing that because they're not going to want to see you get out of that they're going to want to see you party the wear and tear my hair was dead they almost had to bury me is this the moment where Dave, i like this is relapse feel like a weak man i don't want to be that living every day to get a buzz on the weekend see this is good for me i fucked with the delivery i fucked with the rhyme scheme i fucked with a that 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 like i fuck with that heavy and what he's saying again is solid. That's Macklemore. <laughs> Obviously, it's not Macklemore, but I do understand that Macklemore does have songs like this. And and they have kind of similar backgrounds, I guess you would say, him and Macklemore. Because if I'm not mistaken, Macklemore was addicted to opiates with his, with like his friends group. And he and he had to find his way out of that life, if I'm not mistaken. Bones are shaking in my hands and feet. I see my rib cage, but I can't eat. This is what kids call withdrawal. Deleted every number from my shit I was high with all my friends. The whole, the whole hook is two bars. I can't even be mad at that. I like the shortness of it. It gets down to the point, you know what I'm saying? And it's, and it hits. 
it hits. Whether or not you like the sound of it, that's up to y'all and y'all's interpretation, but I'm, I'm fucking with this, actually. I feel like Tom's fans praise him so much because they haven't heard any other rap. I did the same thing when I first started listening to rap through NF. I've said it plenty of times in videos that, and, and people think that I'm like being highbrow about hip hop, and I'm like, nah, I'm not. It's just that there's no way you can call Tom the goat or the or when that, when you don't even know what's out there. You don't even know what other artists are out there because because you don't like rap. I don't even think you like rap with Tom. I think you just like the message because you're so enveloped in your own like political beliefs that you're like, oh, finally, finally, someone hey, is saying what I believe and it's not country us. music. Huh? Finally, I'm getting pandered to in hip hop versus being pandered to in country music. I've never felt this bad before. Don't have the strength to get off the floor right now. But I'm hoping and praying this might be the end. This is a way better uh I loved what I every This is a way better uh production style for his for his vocals. They like his vo his vocal production style on the other tracks, which is it just didn't sound good. Like his range of singing is probably like this big compared to like this much for like J. Cole and then this much for Moray. This is where he fits and he's and he's doing a good job. And his production is his production team is doing a good job keeping it keeping it interesting in that little section. Yeah, you gotta stay in the wheelhouse. Anytime a rapper tries to sing and they try to go way above their vocal ability, it stands out like a sore thumb. I fuck with this song right here. Over now, I loved what I I was drunk with, was high with all my friends. Yo, this song is a hit for me right here. If I'm being honest, this is his best song, in my opinion, that I've heard. And I've heard how many songs from him that I have? I think I've heard seven songs at this point. His last two tracks, Don't Look Down, and this one right here, my favorites, 100%. Probably the first Tom McDonald track that I actually like, Leafy. I agree. Nah, I like, I like, I like the Don't Look Down. I like that track. I think the reason that I like it, first off, I think the reason why people, I saw someone saying that we're like, this is, it's a tough crowd and we're critical. It's tough critics in here because, because everybody pretty much that's here has the same sentiment about Tom McDonald that I have, that he's like not using rap, but he's, he's trying to, he's trying to get a different audience with his rap based off of the things that he's saying, but I don't believe the things that he's saying. So that, that's really what my main issue with Tom McDonald is, is that I don't believe that he believes what he's saying. I think he's just throwing shit out there to, to see what sticks on the wall and see what people will grab to. But this right here, this is, this is a real song. This is like, it's stripping back that tough exterior, that tough trolling, I'm a clown, you know, all of that. And it's giving me actual Tom McDonald, you know?